You are a firewall engineer. You have been configuring and managing traditional firewalls for many years. As the security landscape is changing every day, your company has decided to upgrade all the traditional firewalls to the next generation firewalls. But instead of configuring the new firewalls from the scratch, your boss has asked you to migrate all the existing configurations from the current firewalls. The main reason is your current firewall configurations have grown a lot since they were deployed several years ago. Therefore, there are hundreds of network objects, thousands of access control rules, and many options are already configured in your existing firewalls. Migrating all these configurations manually will take tremendous amount of time and effort. You wish if there were any magic wand to help you with this migration. I am Nazmul Rajib from Cisco Security Business Group. In this video, I am going to introduce you with a firewall migration tool that can provide you a wonderful migration experience by saving you hundreds of hours of time. This tool can automatically migrate your traditional firewall configurations and security policies to the latest Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense Platform in just a few clicks. The migration tool is completely free as long as your Cisco Secure Firewall is licensed with all the necessary security features, you don't need to purchase any additional licenses to use this migration tool. You can run the migration tool on your browser without installing any additional software. After you log into the tool, you select a source firewall vendor from where you want to migrate the configurations. As you can see, the tool can migrate configurations from various vendor firewalls. But in this demo, I'm selecting the Cisco ASA with Firepower services. Next, you choose a method to obtain the configurations from the source firewall. You can let the tool to connect to your firewall and collect the configurations automatically. Or, if you have it saved in your local computer, you can upload it to the tool directly. Let's upload the ASA configuration file to the tool for now. Now, you enter the IP address and login credentials of the management center where this migration tool will save the converted configurations. After the connection is established, the management center shows the devices running with Firepower services. Select the device that matches with the uploaded ASA configurations. Once you proceed, a summary of the uploaded configuration appears. Next, you select a target device where you want to deploy the converted policy. All the threat defense devices listed in this drop-down are currently registered with the management center. If everything looks good, go ahead and start the conversion process. It should be complete in few seconds. In the conversion summary, you will find two types of access control list or ACL. The ASA ACL is based on the traditional access control rule, whereas the FPS ACL is the access control rule based on the Firepower services. The next step is the interface mapping. The migration tool can automatically map the ASA interfaces with the threat defense interfaces. You can choose to keep the automatic mapping unchanged or if you want, you can also customize the mapping using the drop-down. Next, the mapping of security zones. Like the interface mapping, you can manually map the security zones. But I like the feature Auto Create. It can map all the security zones automatically in just a few seconds, which can save a lot of your time with mapping. The final part is the validation. In validation page, you can find all the rules and configurations from your ASA firewall. See how easily and quickly your ASA configurations are processed by this migration tool. Note that the access control rules are categorized in two sections. The pre-filter section shows all the access control rules that are created using traditional ASA software code. 
any rules that are created on the fiber service module are placed in the access control policy or ACP section. The ACP section offers many flexible functionalities to modify and optimize your rule set. The cool part of this page is that you can associate your desired intrusion policy and variable set with any access control rules you want. Similarly, if you want to enable logging for any access control rules, you can do it in few clicks. One of the great features in this page is the Do Not Migrate option. If you are not sure about any specific rules or you have found some rules that are no longer needed, you can choose not to migrate those rules at this moment. At last but not least, you can modify the actions or rule states before you migrate any access control rules. For example, if any rule is set to allow certain traffic, you can change the rule action to block. In that case, the migration tool will migrate the rule with block action. Once you are done with all the customization, validate your changes. If the validation is successful, you are ready to rock and roll.